Thank you and goodbye. The final words of the paper that's recently been making the headlines, not writing them. Revelations that the paper hacked the phones of a murdered schoolgirl and the relatives of dead British soldiers have met with outrage and disgust from the British Prime Minister to its millions of readers. But many put those feelings aside to snap up a little piece of journalistic history. I think it's a shame, I mean, something going that long, I mean, that's way before we were born, you know, 168 years, so, I mean, yeah, we sad to see it go. I'm a bit annoyed because, obviously, it was an enjoyable paper with a sports supplement on a Sunday, it's real good in there, so, obviously, it's now having to find another paper to get on a Sunday, what is with the same kind of quality as it has in sport. After 168 years of scoops and scandals, News of the World published its last edition on Saturday night. In the last few months, the paper's been selling just over 2.5 million copies a week. Its final print run was double that, yet it still sold out within the first few hours. Today they sent me uh, 100 copies and I sold all. And whatever left here, I got my other shop. Much of Sunday's final edition was dedicated to celebrating the newspaper's many world exclusives and campaigns, but it also included an apology to readers, which said, quite simply, we lost our way.